But let me take it up a, a, a bit of a level um, to the sort of national, even the global um, perspective and say just a few words about sort of why we're doing this and what we're talking about. Um, there are now about 2 billion internet users worldwide. Um, that's one in three people on the planet. And that, that is across the entire planet. Um, there's a recent McKinsey study out which took a cross section of, uh, of countries ranging from, not, not the poorest countries it has to be said, but ranging from the rapidly developing economies um, such as um, Brazil, China, India, um, through to the sort of mature internet um, uh, economies uh, such as South Korea, Japan, and of course the United Kingdom. Um, and it estimated that across that cross-section of company, uh, countries, the internet economy accounts for about an average of about 3.5% of GDP. Um, in the UK, uh, we've got over 70% of our households have a broadband connection. It's pushing up towards 75% have some sort of internet connection. There's about 2 or 3% are still on dial-up, um, and that's part of why we're here today. There are thir over 30 million um, regular internet users. We've got one of the liveliest internet economies in the world. That McKinsey report uh, says, uh, shows that um, for the UK, the contribution is over 5% of our GDP. Um, the only other country reported as having a higher um, contribution of GDP from the economy is Sweden. So the contribution, just take that in for a moment, um, that means the contribution of internet and activity on the internet in the UK is higher than South Korea, than Japan, than Germany and the United States. Um, for, so there's a, a, an enormous um, opportunity for us. Um, and internet, uh, internet economic activity accounts for over 20% of our GDP growth over the, uh, over the past five years or so. Uh, there's also a huge potential for rebalancing in the economy, the sort of over-concentration of economic activity in the southeast. Okay, we're right in the southeast, but in London and the city. But, uh, but here today we're talking about addressing rural and uh, more remote communities and how you get to address a bigger market if you're in, a, um, if you're in one of those uh, smaller communities.